Right, let's bring in Adjue for this evening, shall we? The former head of Labour Together, someone you might recognise on the programme, now newly elected MP for Macafield, Josh Simons, and the former Conservative MP, Colonel Bob Stewart. Great to have you both uh, on the show uh, tonight. Right, let's start off, shall we, with the JD Vance uh, appointment. You're someone who's had, you know, long connections with the military. Are you worried about what a kind of Trump presidency, a JD Vance vice presidency, might mean for the world? You know, the one thing, this particular situation. What's your take, Josh? Do you agree with that? I think that um, I don't share JD Vance's analysis of the distinction between, you know, Ukraine and Russia and that conflict and China. I think actually it's much. No. It was interesting, I thought, listening to John Healy uh, and the interview there, because he didn't call out JD Vance when it comes to Ukraine. Do you think that's a, like, the right thing to do, or do you think actually we need to be a bit more robust with our allies when we strongly disagree with what they're saying? Well, I think what the... Uh, di because, you know, Ukraine really matters. The problem is that Ukraine is something we can't really touch under the NATO um, agreement. I always, when I was Chief of Policy at Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe, my last job in the army in 1995, <laughs> you know, and I think we've got to support Ukraine. We don't have a choice. Ukraine has been. We, no, Ukraine won't be able to get it back. And in the end... The thing ..to bring it back to UK politics, during this general election campaign, you know, I knocked on hundreds of doors in my constituency of, of Makerfield. ..nations, Russia, China, uh, North, North Korea and Iran. When uh, Labour managed to put a time frame on that, uh, thank you both uh, very much indeed. Well, Sky's Yalda Hakim is at the RNC in... Hello, welcome back to The Politics Hub. Well, we were going to talk about Liz Truss going over to the Republican National uh, Convention, but actually someone else has gone one better because Boris Johnson has just tweeted... Well, there you go, Boris Johnson uh, and uh, Donald Trump. Um, interesting to see the comments uh, on Ukraine as well, Josh. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing slightly gives me the heebie-jeebies. You know, failed ex-Conservative Prime Ministers, just until very recently, their job was to represent their constituencies in Parliament and to represent the people of the UK, odd and undignified. What do you reckon? Could be. They're not representing the Conservative Party, you know, neither of... And at a time when there is big question marks about what Don Trump is on it, and, of course, the um, pick for his running mate as well, Maybe Boris have any influence over that when he's neither elected nor a member of the government nor apparently in representing the Conservative Party? Uh, you know, when I was in the military, there is such a thing as democracies get war fatigue close to us. Ukraine is a huge country. Ukraine is a European country. We've got to actually maintain the effort. And perhaps that's one of the reasons why people like Johnson and Truss are over there. I hope it's not just for purpose. Apologies for any uh, language uh, used. Um, I think that's a pretty... We've probably got away with that, but thank you uh, very much. Um, I mean, it is... Everyone's keen to get over there, aren't they, though? They are, and, you know, it, it, it's sort of interesting to me, the, the, the kind of... If you zoom out a little bit, we, we have become... just got to make sure that our government, the gov my government, your government... Thank you both very much indeed. That's it from us tonight. I'll see you tomorrow at 7. Up next, it is the UK Tonight.